you can use spray cans outside in conditions like this. Stay tuned and I'll show you how I do it. Bob Johnson here with PK and W Railroad. Thanks for watching. I'm going to talk today about how I use spray cans outside in very cold weather. Every spray can says you should only use it in between 50 and 70 degrees as a, as a lower limit. Um, and obviously it's a lot colder than that here. The secret is to have a warm target and to warm your paint. And frankly, warming paint is something you should do no matter what the temperature is outside. Even if it's 80 degrees outside, you should still warm your paint up. Now, how do you warm your paint? You've got to be careful. You don't want the thing to get so hot that it ruptures. So you don't want to put it on a stove or on a hot water register because you could blow, blow up the, the can. What you need to do is use hot tap water. That's usually going to be in the 120 to 140 degree range. Fill up a container with hot water and submerge your can in the water. Stand your can up in the water. If the can is getting low on uh, contents, you may need to put a weight on the can to keep it submerged. What I do is keep it in there for about three minutes. The water is going to start to cool down at that point. Dump that out. Put some fresh hot tap water in there and let it go for another two or three minutes. And then your can contents are going to be nice and warm. Now, in terms of your target warmth, Put it, keep it in the warmest place in your house. If you've got a paint dryer and you can use that to warm it up, that's great. But otherwise, I just a few hours before I paint, I put the target in the warmest room in the house. So it's at least up in the 70 degree range. Um, and your paint is gonna be in the 100, around 100 degrees. Um, now, in terms of preparing to paint outside, you wanna have everything set up in advance so that the target is only outside uh, as little amount of time as possible. Therefore, uh, you want to go ahead and if you use ta double-sided tape or anything to hold down your target, you want to prepare that in advance. Uh, what I do, I have, if you spray paint outside like I do with spray cans, you probably have a big sheet of material to keep your driveway from looking like a work of modern art. Um, and so uh, you're still going to want to use that. However, it's hard to move that around. You don't want to be carrying that back and forth. Um, so what I do is when I'm cold weather spray painting, I put my target on a se separate smaller uh, piece of cardboard and I tape it to that so that it will um, be easier to move around. So then when you go outside, you've got your warm paint, everything's prepared. Um, you go outside, you spray quickly, and then what you need to do is move your smaller uh, backing board with your target into the garage or some other place where it continue to gas out and it's not going to inconvenience you or your family uh, for an hour or so. Now the garage, my garage is usually in the 50 degree range anyway, and so that's not a bad place for it to dry, but I usually just leave it in there for a couple of hours until most of the gassing out is done. Then I'll move it into the house proper, into my workshop, and uh, it can continue to gas out there, but it won't be uh, smelling too badly. So those are my tips for spray painting outside. Don't be afraid to do it. I use an airbrush for most of my painting, but we all want to use spray cans, do a quick clear coat, do a primer coat without having to go through the hassle of cleaning out your airbrush. So uh, spray painting is essential. You need to do it in the winter and you can do it. Trust me, this will work. Bob Johnson with PK and W Railroad signing off. Until next time, happy modeling.